What's up everyone? Today I'm doing Bullet Train from Hell. What we have to do for this trophy is beat chapter 13 in under 7 minutes. What you want to make sure you do first is make sure you're doing a speed run playthrough and not a regular playthrough, otherwise I don't believe the trophy will lock. You have to make sure that you're playing with that timer in the upper right hand corner. So uh, I'm going to try not to talk through this whole video, I'm just going to share some pointers with you. Um, and then here and there when certain parts come up I'll let you know like what I did and good good uh, solutions to approach the, the situation. But um, anyway, this is a bronze trophy and, and uh, in terms of speed runs, the reason that it's bronze is because um, it's not that difficult. This one, there's three speed runs for this and this one is the least difficult. Um, as you see, I'm playing on easy so I don't have to worry too much about dying from the gunfire. Um, I can kind of just run about freelance and uh, take out the guys as I go without having to stay in cover for too long. Um, but really, I think I died once or twice in this video and I still completed it. So, and I also went the wrong way once or something like that. So uh, with this with this speed run, um, you can mess up here and there. You can make some mistakes and still finish on time. Um, however, you know if if you don't do it your first try. Um, you should be able to get it your second time because the level, uh, it's not that difficult and you'll, you'll learn like where the people are, where the obstacles are and how to traverse this train and everything. Um, other than that, some general tips and whatnot. Uh, for speedruns in general, just try to keep moving. As you see, I'm not going into cover for too long. Um, I'm not focusing on one enemy for too long. I'm kind of just running in with a machine gun and piling down the guys as I go. Um, so yeah, just try to always keep moving, try not to stall. Um, like that guy right there, I could have probably just ran past him and not even turned around. If this was a harder speed run, run I probably would have done that. Um, but anyway, just keep going along the train, and then you'll get to this place right here with the uh, turret inside, and you can actually shoot the guy through the top window here. So that'll save you some time instead of going through the train car um, and like throwing a grenade. You can just hop on top and shoot him through the window. Um, yeah, and so go ahead and just keep watching and I'll let you know when something else comes up. So right here, as you saw, those um, lights that are above the train, those will take you out. That will cause an instant death, so be careful of that. And as you saw right there, I actually used it to take out the two enemies for me, saving me a little bit of time in the process. Now right here is where I died because I tried to drop right down thinking there was a platform, but there wasn't. Um, and so you can see that the checkpoint is actually kind of far back. It's all the way back on this previous train car. Um, so I got a little worried thinking that I wasn't going to complete it, but I just, I just kept going to see if I could. And um, it turns out I could. I did, and I think I beat it by, um, I want to say 20 seconds. I'm not exactly sure of the, the final time I got. But um, so you can see that I died at a pretty inconvenient checkpoint, and I'll still end up getting the trophy. Um, so yeah, just keep continuing on. Um, and then I think right here there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be lights on your side, so be careful of that. Um, as you're traversing the train, you're going to jump up like you saw right there. And then before jumping back down, just wait to pass each set of lights so that it's safe to continue. Another thing to note is um, I'm not very cautious with my ammo. I don't worry about missing shots because uh, because you're kind of always moving and because it is on easy, you pass a lot of ammo. So it's okay to uh, be a little more frivolous with those bullets. Um, all right, so right here is where the helicopter appears. And this is the most important part where I mentioned you just got to keep moving. On easy, the helicopter's machine gun uh, most likely won't kill you unless you stand still. Uh, but if the helicopter shoots its missiles at the train car you're on, and if you stay on it for too long, you will end up dying. So uh, as you can see right here, I'm not really wasting my time getting into cover. 
I did almost die, so at this point you might want to be a little more careful than I was. Um, as you can see, I actually got grabbed by that guy, and I was very fortunate that the helicopter didn't finish me off. But um, either way, I still ended up making it. Once again, watch the lights right there, and then, as before, just always try to keep moving. And then right here, I, uh, I kind of lost sight of that light, and I barely made it. Um, so, so be weary of that as well. So anyway, we're going to continue on to this final train car, and uh, inside is an RPG, and you'll see that for a second I actually got a little confused and I thought I had to take down the helicopter. Um, but you actually don't have to, so, so try, if, you're, if you're strapped for time at, once you get here, don't waste any more time trying to shoot down the helicopter like I did. You're actually going to want to just turn around and um, you, can, you can unlock that door without the helicopter killing you. So yeah, just ignore that whole part with the RPG and just go straight to uh, unlocking this door. Once you get through, um, you'll do a little more climbing, I think, and eventually you will reach the tunnel, which signifies the end of the level. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. Good luck with your speed run. Um, please like and subscribe if you get the chance. It would mean a lot to me. And please stay tuned for more Uncharted videos.